So <clears throat> let's just recap what we have just done. We wanted some flour for our coffee shop and what we have done is we have gone into SAP, used the SAP GUI to create a purchase order. Right? When, Amazon, when you create an order on Amazon, you see the order number instantly, right? It's the same as that. But we have to get this purchase order over to the vendor, right? How do we do that? Let's see. The first thing is you need to have a copy of the purchase order. You can just send the order number, right? He wouldn't know heads or tails of it. The order number also needs to have the line items, meaning what we have ordered, in what quantity, what is the price, and so many other details that go into it. You could take a PDF of it, use email. You could you could just use a phone and then call in to the vendor and give him the order details. Or you could fax it. You know, there are different ways in which you could send this to the vendor. The first thing is, let's do a print of the PO. Right? That's the easiest way and the most conventional way to do it. How do you do that? You got to first go and open the PO to see a preview of it. And how do you do that? You go back. So this is the purchase order screen. If you want to create more purchase orders, you can just put in a vendor again, a different vendor, same vendor, and you could put different materials, so on and create more purchase orders. But we are done with creating purchase order for now. So we're going to go back and go to change, double click on change and you see the system by default opens up the last created purchase order, the one that has been created most recently by you. You know many people could be creating it in the same system. When you open the purchase order in change mode, it pulls up the last created purchase order by you. And here, you can do a preview of how this purchase order is going to look like when you print it. How do you do that? You click on this button, print preview. Click on that and it will show you a preview of how this purchase order is going to look like when you print it. All right, so this is how the purchase order is going to look like. You see, it's got an address. It's got our delivery address. It's got the line items that you've entered, the quantities, the prices, the purchase order number, all that good stuff, right? So you opened the purchase order and clicked on print preview, this button and you see the print preview of the purchase order, right? This is just the print preview. If you want to actually print it, it's not from here. It's from a separate transaction. The reason why it's done is because, you know, there should be a log of printing a purchase order. So that's why it's a separate transaction that has the flexibility of running in online mode or in batch mode. We'll know more about these in later videos. So you go back, go back and click on messages right under the purchase order section. So if you look at the purchase order, I opened it and underneath that you have messages, you open that up and this is where you print the purchase order. Double click that and of course your latest purchase order number is right there. Right? If you want to print another purchase order, you can use the search criteria to select for purchase orders. And in order to print it, the first thing you have to do is execute this transaction. So it's going to validate certain things and, and pull out your purchase orders. For example, if you want to print like 10 purchase orders, you could use this transaction to enter 10 purchase order numbers. We don't need to know how to do it now, but that's the reason why the screen is a little uh, more elaborate than you might have thought. Now, once you enter your purchase order number, click on this button. Whenever you see this button that has a check mark, 
and uh, a clockwork kind of a icon that's always execute the system pulls up the purchase order select it and then click on output message right if you hit a, hit the green check mark that means the system would have automatically created a pdf for the purchase order and issued it to the printer and which printer does it go to this printer lp01 now the printer lp01 is configured with a certain hp or canon printer that's configured out there somewhere and right here you can also do a print preview like click on display message by clicking on the purchase order and you can view how the pdf is going to look like all right so that's how you print the po right you select your purchase order number one or more and then hit the execute button and if there are more in the list you select whatever you want to print and click on the output message right so we have printed a po and then maybe dispatched that to the vendor via mail or fedex or some kind of thing 